Amazing grace How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. was lost Woo, but now now I'm found was blind blind but now now I see Father, forgive them, for they know not what they have done. First, I was afraid, no doubt petrified, reflecting my life, wondering just how I survive. I recall my childhood always feeling like I want to run away or commit suicide, always fearing having company because that's when I'd be stripped of my pride. Esteem tossed to the side as parents transform into Jekyll and Hyde. I recall being the best and brightest in school, winning full scholarships, awards, mad stuff only to come home and feel like you're not good enough. I remember kneeling by my bed, praying to God for the end of my days, walking by the cemetery, envying the lucky corpse in the grave. I remember wanting out so badly that I wouldn't take my medicine for sicker cell, hoping I have a crisis and it would just kill me. I remember being unclothed and disrobed and stripped down to my little white fruit of the loom brief and being beaten until the blood broke freely from my skin. And as a child, trouble was something I was never in. My dad justified by saying responsibility he was teaching. He used all manner of electric wires to make sure that my eight-year-old skin stayed on fire. And by nine, I concluded that appearance love was just, just too much for any child to desire. And if you look into my eyes, it was obvious they had successfully extinguished my fire. But given a choice, if I had to choose, I would choose a beatness over the emotional abuse. Even though I can recall being beaten until my spirit laughed no more, loved no more, cried no more. Self-worth packed up and walked. Teachers were sent for my parents asking what's wrong with Kirk. He's so bright, but he, he doesn't talk. Would you? After being beaten just about half to death because you forgot to feed the dogs? To this day, I can recall both parents' voices reminding me how much they regret bringing me into this world. And back then, I nurtured suicidal thoughts like Steinbeck nurtured a pearl. Sicker cell had me laying hospital beds pondering what's taking God so long to kill me my parents are good Christians I mean my God they deserve to be happy I was sick of being stripped of my esteem robbed of my self-worth always feeling like an expense waiting to be disposed of unworthy of I felt no more needed than a pair of metal glove and I tried to mask the pain by acting like I wasn't fiending for their love but who was I fooling I wanted it more than OJ wanted an alibi and in the process of trying to gain their acceptance I inadvertently commit spiritual suicide but parents don't care they found new and improved ways to batter and bruise me humiliate and refuse me mom did the church thing on Sunday dad read the Bible just about daily and I hated dogs and Christianity lived in a world of illusions and hypocrisy by the time I discovered this poetry the pressure was in bed with me loneliness slept with me unworthiness got dressed with me the pen and paper fought to maintain my sanity for my spirit had long abandoned me. Low self-esteem was nothing new and eye contact was just something that I didn't do. I mean, God forbid I had to talk to you, I kept my eyes focused on my shoe. Plastic smiles conveniently constructed to mass internal rain and all I wrote about was depression and pain. See, I was walking that thin line between being suicidal and homicidal. I had a 4-5 and a Glock 9 and knew if someone pushed me, we would both lose our minds. Because I wasn't trying to change my luck. I was young, black, armed, dangerous. 
Thinking leaving this world in gun smoke would be glorious Back then me and my Jamaican clique were redefined the term notorious Because we were ready to die and these gang recruiters were adoring us But even the toughest gang member knew we were crazy Jamaicans and they Best not be provoking us before you could say the words racial profile I matured to the age where one finally becomes aware of racism Now my anger, hatred and frustration grew to another level Convinced that God was against me I was determined to team up with the devil I would watch nightly news reports of police brutality and fuel my rage Was the long before me and the devil was on the same page I mean totally in sync And my only goal before I die was to murder an entire precinct I went against the grain, fought against the norm Got excited thoughts of putting holes in these blue uniforms See I was sick of watching the oppressors wrapping noose around the necks of the oppressed I was tired of being the victim, tired of being the oppressed, tired of being the helpless I wasn't looking for that Dr. King we shall overcome type justice Now I was livid, my guns were furious and the devil was like Kirk We can do this But God but God has a funny way of molding the future Found out I was soon to be a father Determined this lifestyle could go no further I remember being in the delivery room Looking in my son's eyes thinking I don't care what the psychiatrist or psychologist The psychoanalysis write This cycle of abuse dies tonight I vow to him I never shed your blood Nor intentionally will I bring a tear to your eye And you know that your love from the day you are born Until the day you die Gave him my name which was a selfish thing to do But for once in my life I want to hear a parent say the words Kirk I love you So who knew That it would take a baby to change my life Who knew That it would take a child to change a way that I write Because I no longer write about depression Because through my son I found myself I no longer write about depression Because Kirk don't get depressed This world can't make me stress Perturb, perplex, anguish or distress With the obstacles of this world I'm neither moved nor impressed my God has found and delivered me from all my fears In a well of hope he's transformed those years of tears Yes he was there when no one called, no one came, no one cared And if I had to do it all over again If he placed me in the fire, put my head to the gun I wouldn't change a single thing because I love the person I've become I no longer write about depression My spirit can never be eaten by flesh The people's poet is not the devil's conquest I've got a story to tell and through it I've resurrected many souls from the dead so spiritual you're empty then tell the world I've got bread I no longer write about depression Instead I let my soul manifest through the cuckoo's nest to the litmus test I'm here to testify so can I get a witness I'll place fear and doubt and a cardiac arrest pull Faith, hope and confidence from my war chest My spirit has returned and vowed never again Never again to be oppressed I no longer write about depression Instead I strapped on persistence as my life vest and I'm heading north by northwest and I dare depression to run come test I've dropped the burdens I've been carrying around for years Lift my eyes up to the hills and declared Regards of what negativity parents had to share I am worthy of being here My son has taught me how to love and how to live through Grace I have risen I have nothing but love to give My past is buried in the past and from this day forth I shall live I no longer write about depression because by God I've learned how to forgive. I once, once was lost. Woo, but now, now I'm found. Was blind, blind, but now, now I see.